Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to utilize the scan tab in the Thinkorswim trading platform. Welcome back to all of our subscribers and if this is your first time here, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading and we make videos just like this on a consistent basis where we talk about the stock market and options trading and Thinkorswim. We even put live trades in here. So if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. All right, let's get this thing started. All right, you guys, we are inside the Thinkorswim trading platform, and I'm gonna show you guys how to utilize this scan tab right up here. Now, I might be able to show you guys a few things that you don't already know, so stick around. So there's some really cool things here in the scan tab. So now when you first open up the scan tab, Thinkorswim already populates a few things in here, but because we're gonna build out our own scan, let's go ahead and just delete those, and uh, we're gonna build out our own scan. So let's say, for example, you're looking at building out a scan that looks at uh, stocks to make a bullish play on. So maybe we've had a stock that has had a big uh, movement downward and you're looking for maybe an RSI below 30 and looking for that stock to bounce and playing that stock on the bounce. So what we would do is come in here and build out this scan. So first thing we'd do is come in here and we'd add uh, a filter for the stock. And what this does is we can come in here and we can change this whatever we want. But let's say we're gonna start out with the ask price. So the minimum, uh, price of a stock that we'd like to trade is like let's say thirty dollars so anything 30 and above uh, it's going to scan for stocks anything thirty dollars and above now i like to scan for uh, stocks that have a lot of volume as well because i like to trade high volume stocks which is creates a lot of liquidity so we're going to go ahead and this time we're going to create add study filter now what that add study filter does it's going to come in here and we can pick a, a filter based on a study so we're gonna come in here, click volume and average volume. Now this uh, automatically just filters for uh, looking at a 50 period moving average, looking back over 50 days, we're looking at the average volume to be greater than 1 million on these, uh, on these stocks. So lots of liquidity. Now we're gonna come back in here to add filter, uh, add study filter, and we're gonna come in here and find that RSI. So the RSI is gonna be down under crossovers and we're gonna come into crossovers, click RSI crossover down here. And then that's gonna populate that in there and we'll just read that across. So it says RSI crosses above 30. Actually, we want that to be below 30. So we're gonna just drop that in there below 30. So anything that's, any stock that's $30 and above that has a lot of volume and it has an RSI below 30, this is going to scan for it. So now when we click scan, you can see that it automatically found a few stocks right here that meet that criteria. Now, here's the cool thing in Thinkorswim. If we just came right over here, we could add this to a watch list or save this as a watch list. Now, the problem with just saving this as a watch list is that when you open up that watch list, all it's going to do is open up these same few stocks that we scanned for right now. So let's say you opened up this, let's say you saved this watch list. Uh, today and you wanted to look at it tomorrow. Well, it's going to be the same stocks. Well, how would it be to be able to uh, set this scan up so that when you open up that watch list, whatever stocks meet this criteria are in your watch list. So here's how you do that. So come right up in here uh, to this menu and you're going to hit save scan query. Now we're going to name this save scan query, whatever you want, you know, RSI below 30. I already have one of those set up in my in my watch list, so I'm gonna change this up. We're gonna call it, let's call it, uh, I don't know, just to make it uh, stand out, we're gonna call it ZZRSI. Now we know that ZZRSI is the one that we're making right now, and we can go in, go in and find that. You can name it whatever you want. So now when I click save, what that's doing is it's saving that watch list. So now when I come over here to my watch list and I open up a watch list and I come to my drop down menu and I come to my personal, uh, if I look for that ZZRSI, come right in here and there it is, ZZRSI, very last thing on the personal watch list. Now when I click that ZZRSI, what that does is it populates those stocks in there. Now, the cool thing is when I come in here tomorrow and I click that ZZRSI, 
it's going to populate it with the current stocks that meet that criteria. And if I do it in a week from now, it's going to do the same thing. Now, here's the nice thing when you do it this way. So for example, like if you do it the way in, in here in the scan tab and you just hit scan, of course, that's going to populate those right in here. And it's going to give you a list, but we want to look at it on a chart. So if you add it to your watch list, now when you come over here to the chart and your watch list and your charts are connected, now when you click on these, you'll be able to scan through those because you, you have it populated into your watch list. So let's, let's double check our scan here. Let's see if this is right. So we're looking at Celgene, that top one here. Is the RSI below 30? It sure is. Right down here, just cross below that 30 line. Uh, CLR, yep. Same thing right down here below that 30 line. Uh, Halliburton, yeah, right here below the 30. So you can see that this watch list has been populated with the current scan. And the cool thing is you can go in here and scan for whatever you want and then save that as a scan query so that you don't have to set those up every time and then just pull it up here in your watch list. You can see that I have a lot of those set up here. Anything with a uh, purple bullseye right here, those are all watch lists that I've set up or scans that I've set up uh, based on certain criteria that I was looking for. So, you know, quite a few things that you can set up in there and uh, you don't have to keep going back into the scan tab every time you want to set up a scan and run in that scan. You can set it up once and then set it up so you can pull it up here in your watch list. You guys, that was a short video. I hope it's been helpful in helping you understand a little bit on how to set up some scans that you can uh, populate it into your watch list. Uh, if you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, again, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.